So hi, Paul here. I uh, just wanted to do another quick video or show you another quick video on uh, one of the features that's going to be in Windows Intune, the new beta that's coming out in April. And to help me with that here, I have a couple of friends. Uh, this is Richard Harrison. Good to see you. And this is our friend Karim Amin. So here's what we're going to do. Richard is our savvy IT support guy. Kareem is the end user who needs help. So let's just walk through that. And action. I've been trying to print uh, this page to see the top 10 reasons why I should buy Windows 7. And I think the print icons disappeared. So I've heard my IT admin say something about being, if I need any help, I should use Windows Intune. And I see this icon here. Let's see how that can help me. Uh, so it says I can request remote assistance from my system administrator. Let me try that out. There you go. Now, meanwhile, back in IT land, we have our friend Richard here, and he's sitting at his computer. Could be in the same building, could be in another city, could be in another country. This is all web-based. And let's see what he sees on his screen. So I'm logged into the Windows Engine uh, administration console. So I'm going to go and take a look at my alerts. And I can see that uh, an urgent alert has come in for remote assistance. So when I click on that, I've got the option to take action. And take action he does. And I will accept the request for remote assistance, give myself a name, and I'm going to be IT Guy, which starts my Microsoft Easy Assist session. And I can see that the uh, Easy Assist console opened up there. It gives you the option to uh, share desktop, transfer files, uh, chat with the user at the other end. And let's swing back to Kareem and see what's happening. Uh, it looks like something's happening here. Microsoft Easy Assist is launching. And this dialog here tells me that my request has been accepted. That's excellent. OK, so there you go. Now I'm being given the choice to either share a desktop or share a program. I'm going to choose to share my desktop. There you go. So now, we see that there's I'll just type to him. a chat window that opened up. Richard is communicating with Kareem and asking what the problem is. And Kareem is typing back what's going on. There you go. Meanwhile, Richard, over in the other building, other city, other country, is chatting and requesting that uh, desktop be shared. Uh, IT guy is requesting to share control. Back on Kareem's machine now. Excellent. All right. Yes. So now you can see that on Kareem's machine, uh, Richard now has control. And he's flipping back to the uh, browser window immediately sees that uh, Kareem somehow uh, hid some of the uh, toolbars and, and menu bars. He's turning them back on. Now he can see his print option. And now uh, Kareem can see how to print. Problem solved. So I'm going to release control. And let's see, now Richard's given control back to Kareem. Excellent. Thanks a lot, Richard. Yeah, I mean, he would have typed that because Richard's not actually sitting in the same room, but you get the idea. So that was our demo for uh, remote assistance. Thanks very much uh, for watching, and I uh, hope you enjoy using Windows in Tune.